Hey everyone, Jarrett here we're from Chrono Sapien Interactive and we're moving on to the next step. We're going to test out our 3D model to see how it works in scene, make sure that everything that we set up before we exported is working properly. So if we go here, we have our FBX. We'll just go ahead and we have like a base scene kind of set up and we're going to, we already made a folder that has some of our assets. So we'll go ahead and drag it in there. And it automatically creates all the materials that we had, so we don't have to worry about that. And we have the drone test here. So let's go ahead and drag it in the scene and see how it fares. Okay, so right off the bat, it's looking like the scale is pretty good. It's not overly large compared to everything else here. So that's one of the important things that we want to check. Um, next thing we want to check is if we zoom into it is all the uh, pivot points that we set up. Make sure that they're working properly and none of them are skewed in any weird way. And we do that by, if we open it up, we see all the little sections that we made. So let's test the wings first. So let's go ahead and rotate them. All right, and it looks like that carried over well. Then we'll undo. An important thing here also is to remember um, when you're going to be testing anything out, we set up the pivot points, but if you have um, your tools, the tool handle set to center, it's always going to go to the center of the object, so you might think that perhaps that it's not. So always make sure that your tool handle is set to pivot, so that way you know it's exactly where you set your pivot, which we did set it right here, so that's good. So we can rotate it like this. Rotate it this way, everything's fine. We should be able to do it for the other one. And let's go ahead, we're going to check the blades back here those are working properly front blades those are also working properly you got the camera eye you can go ahead and move it around like that it's working properly undo that all right so pretty straightforward um, you know, pretty much all the pivot points we just wanted to double check. Basically, you know, when you test it in the scene, you're double checking, make sure any of the functionality points that you made are set up correctly, um, which they are. And another big thing that we're going to do right now, so because this is a drone, it's going to be flying around. Let's raise it up a little bit. So we're looking at it through the scene inspector. So obviously we can circle around it and like see all the different aspects. But what we really want to check is what it's going to look like from the player view. So I already have a player controller set up if they were to walk around here. So let's go ahead and play the scene real fast. And if we walk around, so it's about eye height, uh, which is where we want it. And we just want to make sure that, you know, that nothing really stands out too crazy. Uh, it's looking pretty good. You know, obviously it's a little rough around the edges, but you know, that's the first step. We want it rough, then we'll smooth it out after we know everything works, which we know it works. So we can just see if anything's weird, could be possibly read a little bit better. And let's go ahead and Move it around a little. Let's put it a little bit lower. And actually, if it's flying, it might be angled. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll go ahead and let's say if this is set up like this, we'll go ahead and hit play again. Make sure it doesn't look super awkward. And now it looks pretty cool. Obviously, we can use more detail and we're going to get to that. Um, but other than that, that's the main things that you want to look for when you're testing it is just, you know, that your functionality is working the way that you set it up. Obviously, we have everything properly named like we did in the hierarchy. So when you pass it on and anyone's going to be adding functionality, say if they you know, are writing code or scripts that are going to make any of these parts move, they know exactly what to tie it to, uh, left wing, right wing, uh, the camera eye and stuff like that, as opposed to just having it saying you know, poly mesh and they don't have to click it to know what it is. So it's a lot easier for them to read, be less frustrating, and then you don't have them harassing you in the end saying that you need to fix everything because it's all good to go. Um, other than that, we'll move on to the next set. Thanks for joining me.